questions or comments? Do you know if there's a finite number of these strips join irreducible, I think you call them? Yes. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, it's trivial. Yes, there's always a finite number. Uh, a bigger theorem is... Okay, but none of this has been exploited. I mean, you, so, so, so you only care about matroid theory. Here we have a representation theory for... There may be more structure in there, but at least we have stack. Yeah, it's clearly finite. That's all trivial. But calculating is not easy. And min degree is not easy. How about uh, max degree? Is that easy? Yeah. Yeah, because the top is the biggest one. So, so, so the geometric lattice is the biggest representation. Okay. Okay? The question is... No, but there aren't geometric lattices further down. So the lattice can get much smaller. That's the minimum thing. But the min degree is sort of weirdly related to that. So the idea is you get all the examples in Oxley and what's the min. Okay, but even on the big problems, <coughs> uh, well, none of this has been, this hasn't been related to anything. I mean, we thought it up six months ago. Okay. Other questions or comments? Yes, yeah, so, so oh, oh, no, the one thing I wanted to say is the right question to ask, Boolean representable goes under restriction but not contraction. But assume you hold the degree down, the, the maximal dimension of, okay? Then, like for three, so assume you're going to look at all subsets of two are in and some of the threes are in. How much do you have to check to know that you're Boolean representable? And the answer is 12. you got to go up. So, so we can prove... All these things are finite, but even in three, you have to go up to 12. So the question that Jesus de Laura asked about the representation theory in the usual case, does well, I have your... to, to, I have to ask him more. Yeah, okay. But uh, does yours really restrict to that case? When you... does, does your, do your representations restrict to that case? Or no? Everybody... We, uh, he left, I don't know, so I don't know if, if they need uh, field representative or not. In mat matroid theory is bad in the following way, according to me, not maybe according to me. There's no representation theory, meaning some of the matroids are representable by matrices over fields. But then the dimension of those is equal to the dimension of the thing. And, but, but it's well known that most people don't have representations. And then the rota conjecture is, well, maybe we, there's a finite number of forbidden that tell us when we don't. I mean, do you care if you don't have one? The point is, the point is now you have a representation theory for every one of these. So I'm sure every representation theory already working well, is going to come under this. We have a representation, we have a Boolean representation for every matroid, and for every matroid we have a we have, a, we have a representation theory. We can write things as the direct sum of the SJIs. And there's probably more structure in there. Any representation theory thought up so far by Galfond, but is going to make more sense in this, I mean, this according to me. The work by Galfond is just screaming for this definition. I mean, these are all my prejudices. But, so, but now you can go back and got to do all the classical stuff. I mean... We're able to do minimum degree for some of the uniform matroids. Uniform matroids is all subsets of a less or equal something. Take a set with n elements and look at all subsets of k or less. That's uniform. Min degree is not so easy. I think we were able to do it for 3b, three, three b B anything. Okay. Uh, the classical case, okay, so get in there. Okay, uh, I'd say this was the, oh, but, but, but now this, what, what's your name? Uh, keep going here, and then I'll get out. Of, keep going till we get to. What's her name, Michelle? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, wait, back up. Maybe that was it. Yeah. Michelle okay, those was, guys. She gave a talk here last week. Oh, I wanted to talk to her. It's too bad she didn't <laughs> hear this. Okay. 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 So, so, so these are all shellable. If we do. Dimension three, so so the biggest independent sets three, and all sets with two or less are independent. So some of the threes are in, and some of the threes are out. We're, if it's Boolean representable, we can prove that's shallow. But she's at Berkeley right now, so you can talk to her. 
Um, if I can find her. Okay. Okay. Well, well, I just wanted to send her the paper first. So that, I didn't talk about that result, but 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 so these are giving more shellable. Probably it's true for Ed, but it gets too hard for us. I mean, at the moment, I mean, Pedro said I have to do it for four. Okay. A any more questions? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of yeah. One can do a lot of PhD thesis in this. It'd be pretty easy. Okay. How long you will oh. be in Berkeley? What? How long you will be in Berkeley? So my niece grows up. <laughs> Till uh, 2017. <laughs> yeah, we went to Paris, but we're now back raising my wife's niece. So, okay. I hide from the university, though, but yeah, I'm, a, I'm available. Any more questions? So let's thank John again. Okay.